Hello everyone. In this video, we will recommend the top 10 best robbery movies, so far, from 2010 to 2022. So, let's get started the list. Number 1. The Town. Director, Ben Affleck. Doug McRae leads a band of ruthless bank robbers and has no real attachments except for James Coughlin, who despite his dangerous temper is like a brother. Everything changes for Doug when James briefly takes a hostage, bank employee Claire Kesey, learning that she lives in the gang's neighborhood. Doug seeks her out to discover what she knows, and he falls in love. As the romance deepens, he wants out of his criminal life, but that could threaten Claire. Number 2. Now You See Me. Director, Louis Leterrier. The Four Horsemen is a group of magicians led by Atlas. While performing their magic show, the gang robs a bank on another continent and then divides the profits among the public. FBI agent Dylan is determined to make the magicians pay for their crimes. However, he is forced to team up with Alma, an Interpol detective, in desperation. Dylan turns to famed magician Thaddeus, who claims the bank robbery was committed through disguise and video trickery. Number 3. Marauders. Director, Stephen C. Miller. As several branches of Cincinnati's Hubert National Bank are hit by a string of brutal and well-orchestrated bank robberies, FBI's special agent, Jonathan Montgomery, along with his partner, Stockwell, and the inexperienced operative, Wells, try to shed light on a seemingly straightforward case of armed robberies. However, little by little as the sparse evidence point to the organization's powerful CEO, Jeffrey Hubert, it becomes obvious that a mysterious and well-connected player will do anything in his power to keep his guilty secret safe. Number 4. Hell or High Water. Director, David McKenzie. After 13 years in prison, Tanner Howard, returns to his family estate where his brother Toby Howard and nephews live. When they threaten to lose their childhood home, the inseparable brothers embark on a series of skillful heists on small, local banks, with small amounts involved. Tanner and Toby hope to stay under the FBI's radar. Everything runs smoothly until Officer Marcus Hamilton, who is looking forward to his retirement, bites into the case. Number 5. Baby Driver. Director, Edgar Wright. After being coerced into working for a crime boss, a young getaway driver finds himself taking part in a heist doomed to fail. Baby, Ansel Elgort, relies on the beat of his personal soundtrack to be the best in the game. After meeting the woman, Lily James, of his dreams, he sees a chance to ditch his shady lifestyle and make a clean break. Coerced into working for a crime boss, Kevin Spacey, Baby must face the music as a doomed heist threatens his life, love and freedom. Number 6. Money Heist. Director, Alex Pena. To carry out the biggest heist in history, a mysterious man called the Professor recruits a band of eight robbers who have a single characteristic none of them has anything to lose. Five months of seclusion memorizing every step, every detail, Every probability culminate in 11 days locked up in the National Coinage and Stamp Factory of Spain, surrounded by police forces and with dozens of hostages in their power, to find out whether their suicide wager will lead to everything or nothing. Number 7. Den of Thieves. Director, Christian Gudegast. Nick O'Brien is the hard-drinking leader of the Regulators, an elite unit of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Ray Merriman is the recently paroled leader of the Outlaws, a gang of ex-military men who use their expertise and tactical skills to evade the law. O'Brien, Merriman and their crews soon find themselves on a direct collision course as the criminals hatch an elaborate plan for a seemingly impossible heist, the city's Federal Reserve Bank. Number 8. Wrath of Man. Director, Guy Ritchie. Patrick Hill who works for a cash truck company with the responsibility of moving large amounts of money around Los Angeles. Every week, he is a mysterious man and new members in the company. One day, Hill encountered robbers who intercepted a truck containing a large amount of money. Because of his abilities, 
he was able to defeat the robbers alone. His success as a new member received appreciation from his colleagues, but apparently, Hill was looking for the people who had killed his son in the same robbery tragedy. Therefore, he joined a cash truck company because he wanted to advance his goals. Number 9. Lupin. Director, George K. When Hassan Diop was just a teenager, his father was accused of a crime he did not commit. His father died and 25 years later it is time for revenge. Now Lupine is a charming burglar who likes to use his talents to recover stolen jewelry from women. He risks a lot for these heroic deeds. The criminal sneaks into the Louvre for a major crime. However, it remains to be seen whether he will get the big job done. Number 10. Ambulance. Director, Michael Bay. The film Ambulance tells the story of William Sharp, a war veteran, who needs $231,000 for his wife's surgery. The financial problems he faced made will decide to let go. William then contacted Danny, his adopted brother who was a criminal. Danny got him involved in a placement worth $32 million at a large bank in Los Angeles. With a heavy heart, William accepted the invitation. While carrying out a hug, William and Danny accidentally shot a Los Angeles Police Department, LAPD, officer. They also began to be surrounded by police officers. 